In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down a very simple little route combination that you can utilize. It's gonna beat every defense in this game. It's really honestly gonna throw your opponent off guard because the user lurk is actually relatively difficult for the user to be able to have in this in particular coverage. It's also going to be a nice little counter to some of the main concepts that you're gonna be running out of the trips tied in. Now, if you are new to the channel, I wanna ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to know whenever we release new videos. If you wanna stay up to date on that stuff, again, just click the subscribe button down below and it's, only, it's free to do that and we post every single day. The other thing I wanna let you know about is I've got a full ebook on this trip side in in my Patreon membership. If you've not joined that yet, I would ask you to consider that. It's a great way to support me as a creator. The other thing is I try to put as much in that Patreon membership as I possibly can to make it worth your money. And here's what I'm gonna do for you. Basically, we've got, if you join the Patreon today, you don't only get one ebook, you don't only get the trips guide, you get every guide. So 18 ebooks for $10. 18 offensive and defensive guides for $10. You also get any updates to those guides or any additional guides that we release while your membership is active. So the cool part is not only do you get the guides, you get the most up-to-date versions of those guides, any additional tweaks that as the year goes on we change, and you get any new guide that we release while your membership is active. So for just 10 bucks, you basically get everything. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below. Okay guys, so this is a simple, simple, I mean, very simple concept. Um, it's actually out of counter go, but I really like this. It's one of my favorites right now. And the reason why I like so much is because it's so dang hard for the user to guard it. And it attacks an area on the field that is typically undercovered if you're thinking about a traditional coverage in terms of how they're going to guard trip side in. So uh, PA counter go is the play call out of New England playbook. And what we're going to do is really take advantage of this tight end route. Now, you might not know this, but you can smart route this route. So if you're first at 10, you can get that to be about a 12 to 13 yard rounded out route. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to get over a five yard zone drop. However, it's also going to get underneath a 30 or 25 yard zone drop. So the zone drop approach is really not that good against this in particular route. Now, I like to run this concept to the left side. You can run this to either side if you want to. It doesn't matter. It's not hash dependent. Now, what, the, uh, what I like to do backside here is a drag to the number three receiver. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us a high low. We're either going to hit the out route or we're going to hit the drag. Okay. My man, Jay Wall, again, last year says this, uh, club champion last year. Very good Madden player. One of my favorite Madden players. He says that Madden is all about high lows. And if you talk about, um, I was actually watching a Kurt Warner video where he was breaking down some tape on... I want to say he was actually breaking down some tape on himself, but he might have been breaking down some tape on Mahomes. I can't remember off the top of my head, but what he, what he said that I thought was really valuable as well is he said, I love high-low route combinations. And he meant, but he meant by that kind of the same thing J-Wall was saying, it's all about getting a high-low. It's all about whether you're trying to be man or zone, it doesn't matter. You're trying to get a high-low, and you're trying to put defenders in conflict. So I thought that was a very, very good coaching point and something that I'm personally taking note of. And then on the back side here, so the, on the back side here, what we're going to do is we're going to run a drag number three. We're going to run a flat to the number two receiver, which is Scotty Miller, number two from the outside of the trips. And then Mike Evans is the number one, and we're going to run him on a curl. People don't throw curl routes enough. I'm telling you, uh, this is, I, when I started really, um, you know, when I don't know what to call, that's my play. And here's why. Most people don't respect the curl route to the left. They really don't. They respect, they respect everything from the number three cross or corner they respect deep skinny posts from number one but they do hardly ever respect the curl to the number one or even the curl to the number two receiver so that's what i really will go to um, when i need a short little little play this concept right here very very underrated okay let's show it to you against cover four what you can notice about this out route it gets outside of almost every zone in the game one of my other real things is you out leverage your opponent you out leverage your opponent to the outside. It's one of the few advantages, or one of the many advantages um, that you have in trips tight end. So again, we smart route the tight end, we drag this uh, inside slot. If you're not in first and 10, don't smart route him. Let him run his 10 yard cut. Um, and then we're gonna flat Miller and curl Evans. We can leave this nice little play action on. Here's a cover three. 
high low right so he goes to the out so i can turn that drag up field for about five to ten yards which is enough for me um it's considered a very very good play if i can get that so again cover three boom here and oftentimes that drag will open up right in there you see i can turn that up for about seven to eight yards high low high low high low that's what we're getting on that side i can't stress that enough now cover three on the right cover three honestly probably defends us the best most people aren't going to run a stop cover three if they do Throw P, throw P A counter, go with the crosser all day long. What you're going to see over here on the back side, we're going to take our flat. We're going to take our flat against the cover three coverage. Now, um, against pretty much anything else, you're going to notice that we're going to have significant advantages either side of the field. So this is cover four. You see we can hit the curl for about 12 to 15 yards. My all-time favorite route in Madden 22, and I don't run it enough, to be honest with you. Very, very good route. So that's cover two. Let's go to cover or, uh, cover three and cover four. Let's talk about cover two for just a second. Same exact concept. Again, same exact concept right here. Boom, boom, boom. And what you'll see against cover two. Cover two plays it decently. You see how that guy plays it? I, there's a small window on that where I can hit the drag. But I will say just your everyday average cover two will play this decently. But you're still going to have some stuff over here on the backside. So on the backside here... Um, against cover two, your curl should be wide open. You should be able to hit that, just slice it right in the middle of the defense. Now, if there's zone dropped, and again, it's going to be kind of tricky to show this, but let's say that let's say that they are zone dropping. This guy is going to be back here, okay, in the cover two. So, if they're zone dropping you, which is very likely, he's going to be back there. If it's still not good, take your check down, take your little drag. Take your little drag. Um, another way that you can run this same concept is hitching the inside slot and motioning him to the right. And this can actually sometimes hold zones. So you see how he kind of holds it. Didn't quite hold it well enough for me there, but he does kind of hold it. Okay? Now, I want to spend just a quick second talking about Mabel coverage or double flatting. Uh, first and foremost, though, I do want to say that typically in a double flat scenario, you're going to get a hard flat and a deep something, right? Something deeper down the field. So in this example on the right side, it's again a little tricky to show this, but we're basically getting underneath coverage, okay? And then this guy is going to be on something super, super deep down the field. So to illustrate that, I'm just going to spy him to try to get him out of the throwing lane. That's typically what you're getting in a Mabel concept. And they have to run that if they're going to try to defend a lot of what you're going to run. This, is, In fact, this exact play. If we run the crosser to the right, we're going to get over every zone. So now what you're going to get a lot is that right there where the drag or where the out route is going to get over the top of the hard flat. Let me show you that one more time. Um, but that's, that's going to get over the top of that in a double flat scenario. You, again, have your backside guy here. And then double, maybe we'll talk about it in just a second. But see how I can pass lead that to the outside. And I like to pass lead it up into the outside, but that gets open. Now, one of the other reasons I absolutely love this play is this, this route to the tight end is one of the best man beaters in this formation. Nice little rounded out route, just torching the coverage. Real simple. Real, real, real simple. And then um, let's talk about double flatting. So when an opponent double flats you, um, what that basically boils down to is they're lurking in the middle and they're putting a lot on their user. Typically... You're going to be able to hit this drag right there. If it's not open, you can come back and hit your curl. It's one of my favorite route combos for double Mabel. Why? Because the user almost always will guard this drag over the middle, and he'll leave this curl right there. Okay? Very, very simple route combo for you. But I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite ones. And again, for those of you that are watching saying, eh, how, how do I, you know, you, you got lurked or whatever, you run this concept right here. It's basically the same thing, except now instead of a drag, you're using the crosser. And you see how they have to now play zone drops. They have to now play zone drops. It doesn't matter what coverage it is. They have to do that. So when they start doing that, when they start playing zone drops, now you have an upper hand because you have some other stuff to go to. But as you can see, this forces them into that, and then you run PA counter go. The second setup that I just shared with you uh, in this video. If you want to, 
You can run it like this, by the way. You can do that. That's fine. And this dig right here will come in behind it, right there, if you want to do that instead of a curl. So up to you. Um, so much you can do in trips, man. Uh, so, so much you can do. You could easily do this right here um, if you wanted to and take your chance at hitting that curl. Okay? Very, very good concept for you. Please try it out. Let me know what you think. If you want to get the full ebook, you want to get all the stuff, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. $10 gets you everything, literally everything. Um, I think it's a great deal for you, and it also helps support me a ton. So if you're watching and you want to go sign up for it, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.